Here we have new information tonight about past citations at a, at a facility connected with an assisted living facility where a woman was found dead in December. This time with complaints of neglect, abuse, and unhealthy living conditions. Valina Jones has an update on the facility and potential red flags when you're looking for an assisted living center. Valina? Well, Susan, it's a question some may be asking after News 3 reported violations at Faith Gardens Memory Care, where a woman was found dead in the cold late last year year. We also now know have information on other facilities owned by the same company. There is no absolute assurance. When choosing an assisted living center for your loved one, it can be hard to choose the right one, especially when faced with news of problems at facilities in our area. Last month, Faith Garden's memory care in Sun Prairie was ordered not to accept any new patients after a woman living at the facility was found dead outside of the building in December. New documents obtained by News 3 show that another facility associated with Faith Garden's Faith Living Center also received fines and violations from 2015 to 2017, including not properly administering medication, unhealthy living conditions, police being called for help because staff didn't respond, and an investigation into the sexual assault of a resident. They do a pretty robust evaluation at the beginning when you take out your license and they certainly investigate complaints, but nobody's there on a daily basis making sure that things are the way they said they were gonna be. Barbara Bowers, an expert in long-term care at UW-Madison School of Nursing, says when choosing a facility, you should know that training and staffing levels can cause issues, but advises doing your homework. Look at complaints, as I said, show up. Um, if you have a relative who can tell you what's happening, ask. Bauer suggests talking to other residents, families, and staff for feedback, including looking for the biggest red flag, a high turnover rate. If there's a high turnover rate, no one's going to get to know your relative. Um, their personal knowledge about what's important to them is going to go when they leave. And turnover, I think, is one of the most valid indicators of a pro an organizational problem. Now, in at least one of those violations, a staff member was fired. Sun Prairie Police say no one was charged in the 2015 sexual assault investigation where a woman contracted an STD at Faith Living Center. They, the attorney representing both facilities has not responded to our request for comment. Valina Jones in the newsroom. Valina, thanks.